Uh, hello everyone, my name is Dmitry Marin and I'm delighted uh, to welcome all of you here at our ATV channel for our daily broadcast and as always free Jacquelet lottery. Yes, my friends, today as always someone is gonna get one of those wonderful pieces and uh, we have several as a matter of fact and it's a mystery which one will be chosen as a prize today you shall find out by the end of the show are also Boris Afrimov the son of Leonid Afrimov today is going to be our guest and we are going to talk about two very important subjects first of all we, we're going to talk about the copyright infringement you see what happens is when you become a successful artist you start having problems you you haven't had before i mean you become uh, a victim of your own success all of a sudden everyone wants a piece of piece of action or uh, and uh, it, the more successful you are the more of a problem it is so let me welcome today our guest Boris Afrimov, who is involved very much with Afrimov Incorporated. Hello guys, how are you doing? Great. Glad to be here. Great, Boris. Yesterday we spoke a bit uh, about um, your career as a musician, and yes. what you do music-wise, but you also are very much involved in your father's art business. Yes, and from early childhood. Oh yeah, and, and when did you start? Because Dave started when he was like 12 years yeah, old. Yeah, I started when I was like 6. Wow, so so, so you were even earlier? You were 6 years old? Yeah, you? David is 7 years older than me. Okay, so you were going together? Yes. Selling Jacquelet door to door? Uh, no, I wasn't doing any selling, but what I was doing is uh -huh. uh, helping. With like, for example, I was mm -hmm. helping to clean. I was helping to like, uh, my dad he mix his paints. I was okay. helping like an artisan apprentice something like that yeah artist apprentice like extra hands extra hands, hands whatever i could do more uh, like uh, by the age of eight i knew how to make uh, the little ropes for the frames and hang uh -huh. on well that's wonderful and think of it it, it took so many years it, it took a couple of decades to build the business yes and and, and so few artists actually succeed business-wise yeah. uh i mean you know what happened to van gogh <laughs> he had to cut off his ear, and uh, that's certainly not an issue for Leonid Afrimov. No. He, your dad is doing very well, but yeah. the problem is when you become successful, as I said before, yeah. somebody wants a piece of your action. Exactly. And uh, what, what's going on with the Chinese, by the way? Oh, Chinese are a pain in the butt. Okay. What they do is uh, they go to our website, okay. steal our images. If we have pro image protection, yeah, they will just do print screen. That that's our control print. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's a live broadcast, so sorry. so sometimes we got interrupted. That's that's. Sorry, uh, guys. Uh, I, have to, I forgot to turn my phone well, out. Meanwhile, let me no say excuse. let me say that we are talking about pirates from China. We yeah. have absolutely nothing against the People's Republic of China or the Chinese people. We have wonderful customers from China, yeah. but uh, we we do have problems with Chinese pirates as we have problems with Russian pirates. You know, I myself am originally uh, from Russia, and um, you know they, they do the same thing. I mean, the yes. Russians and the Chinese, the pirates, yeah, they do exactly the same thing. They steal the image. And they reproduce it, and they do it in mass reproduction. The way they do it, okay, is they have an assembly line of okay. artists. They get paid like one dollar a day okay. with a, with a high art education. Yeah. And what they do is like they would have, for example, here mm -hmm. is a painting, right okay. here, and one artist will just do the outline with a pencil. Okay. And then move it to the next one. So it's the like a, yeah, it's like a car line assembly. Yeah, yeah, like a car line. The next one will paint only the lights. Okay. Then it goes to the third one that will paint the sky. The fourth one that will paint the ground. The fifth one that will paint the people. So, so they basically they they making a painting just the way they make a car. Yeah, or, or any other product or, or a bicycle. You yes, know, like exactly. Those ubiquitous Chinese bicycles. So, up, and and they assemble. Well, that's, that, that's there is a term for that. We call it Chinese mass production. Yeah. 
The is. market is full of that. Beware, guys. There is a lot of fake Chinese mass production on the market that will be sold as original art. Unless there is a certificate of authenticity signed by the artist himself or a member of his company authorized to sign that certificate, that's just a fake mimic replica. And, and yeah, that's, that's, you know, that, that's amazing that we are having the same problems that, that, you know, before it used to be, you know, you are, you are into music and there's yeah. musicians who have had so much problems with pirates because yes. pirates were copywriting, first they were making uh, fake CDs yeah. and, and selling them everywhere, then now it's uh, MP3 files that you can download on pirate yeah. websites and now from what I, I heard that uh, you can also get books. I mean, you can get pirated books, you can get pirated e-books, yeah. or you can also you can also buy books uh, that's been pirated just just in a very similar manner. You can get a fake Harry Potter uh, in, in some places. They have writers working writing fake novels and and, and trying to present them as a fake, fa yeah. <laughs> you know, as a real Harry Potter. Yeah. And, and and the same is, is an issue with art. The, the, and the problem we have is that people represent it as aftermath paintings. You yeah. make fake certificates. So they go as far, I mean, they went one step further. Because <laughs> you mentioned what the, one of the way to protect the business yeah. is, is to is, is to make sure that every piece of Afrimov's work is, is accompanied by uh, the certificate of, of authenticity. Yeah. But with the seal. It is the seal. But yeah. they go even further. I mean, they try to duplicate. Uh, uh, and, and make a fake certificate themselves. Yeah, the problem with their certificate, the signature most likely will be uh, a printed signature that they're gonna copy from a painting. Okay. With the purposely signed the certificates a different way than they signed the paintings. Okay. So that's that's the way to and tell it. Yeah, and another way we're gonna have a gold seal that only us. Well, there's only one seal that we have, and only okay. us, Aframov Incorporated, Aframov Leonid Aframov and his children have it. Yeah. And, and I think another way to protect yourself, I mean, if you, you, you should really buy Afrimov Arts from Afrimov.com. Yes. That is the way. Or authorized other retailer. We do have an eBay store and we do sell on Etsy.com. We do sell on FineArtAmerica.com as well as um, eCreator.com. Yeah, and there are links, I imagine, there are links from Afrimov.com to all the legitimate yeah. sites. That, that that have a right to sell Afrimov's work. Yeah. So that that is the way I think. Then, if, if you want to protect yourself by by getting authentic Afrimov's art and not a Russian or Chinese fake, go to the website. That's your first step. Go to Afrimov.com, yes. and and then you can follow the link. If if you don't see what you like offered on that particular auction site. There are other places that you can go, but they're yeah. all linked. Yeah, they're all linked. That's our, uh, what else, okay, that, what else, what else is, uh, what else, you know, can be done? I mean, are you guys doing We're something We're suing a lot of people. Okay. It's the problem with the Chinese, we have, we can't really sue them because they are in a, in Ch we have to hire an attorney in China Okay. that will pursue that lawsuit and it's not recommended to deal with that. It's like a lot of corruption there. Yeah, that's uh, and 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 Afrimov Incorporated is not the only company <laughs> that no. has this problem. I mean, the amazing thing these days is that it's just like everybody. It used to be, you know, uh, manufacturers who had the problem. Or let's say, you know, they were fake sneakers, fake eyeglasses, uh, and and things things of that nature. But now, even a painter, even a painter has a problem dealing with pirates. That's that's really a, a 21st century development. That's globalization for yeah. you. Yeah. So um, suing suing, uh, I imagine it's it's not a very copyright copyright protection friendly environment. I mean, you can hire an attorney, but chances that you're going to recover something. We were there. able we were able to recover money from the U.S. based companies. People okay. that were people that were selling those fakes in the United States of America and Canada got in trouble for.